Hey everyone. I hope everything everyone's doing good back home. Um today's Sunday. I'm gonna be posting this email tomorrow, so Monday. Um it's gonna be a little shorter probably today because um it's gonna be like it's just gonna be these last four or five days because I posted my last email a little late. But today's Today, this whole week has been really good. Um, <clears throat> um, some news. One of our teachers left us because she's got to teach another class, but she was able to, like, we do one-on-ones after our classes and devotionals sometimes. Um, after every class, we, we do for sure. And I was able to be her last one, which was really, really special to me because... Um, it showed that she cares about me and she's always gave me good advice going into my mission, into the mission field, um, continue learning different techniques to understand the gospel and to lead and be a good missionary. Um, and so it was really, really awesome and special that she was able to do that, um, with me. Um, we had like a devotional today about Jeffrey R. Halden and we had sacrament in a class. We were in church dress all day till just now and it's 1030. So yeah, we were in church dress all day. We're getting, I'm getting used to it though. It's not a big deal anymore. I do enjoy being in regular clothes like this though. Very much so. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, the devotional was awesome. We watched it. It was recorded, so he wasn't there, obviously, this time, I guess. Um, but it, he was talking about feeding my sheep and how we need to get on the level of the investigator in order to be able to bring them to our level. And that was really cool. And he gave the example of Peter um, on the Sea of Galilee going fishing when they saw Jesus and then Jesus said, do you love me three times? He said, yes, more like more than these, the fish in his boat. But then he said, the third time he said, do you love me? He said, I love you more than anything is how Jeffrey R. Holland explained it. And then after Jesus said, then feed my sheep. So like he meant leave everything behind and come with me and feed my sheep. And that kind of... um relates to me going on my mission because I left a lot behind even though I packed a suitcase I did leave a lot behind um, to be able to preach the gospel and help others um, have the have what we have the Book of Mormon the gospel be more happy um, know that families can be forever um, all that stuff really important and I want to be able to spread that to everyone. And we're learning a lot here at the MTC. Um, these last couple of days have been just filled with really busy with classes. Today is probably our most like chill day. Like we weren't doing too much, even though we were constantly doing things. We got some time to wash our clothes yesterday. Um, today we we were able to just hang out a little bit, read, study. Um, preach my gospel, predicar mi evangelio in Spanish. Um, everything's in Spanish, so I hope it's getting better in my Spanish. And my companions don't speak hardly any English as well, besides for one of them. And he's not my companion, he's in my district. So, yeah, I hope that's an advantage that I get going into the mission field only speaking Spanish right now. Um, so then, then I'll be better than I already am, hopefully. <laughs> what else? Um, a lot of classes, but the classes were awesome. The first, the first few of the, when we first got to MTC, I was like exhausted. I was done <laughs> because we had to wake up at 630 and then focus for three hours, a little break, and then come back for a couple hours constantly so but now we're used to it we got to go to the temple it was it was awesome
I don't know if I talked about that already. But we got to the, go to the temple Wednesday or Tuesday. Um, but it's so beautiful. And you felt the spirit a lot. We were able to talk about it when we got back for classes. Um, we had to get up at like 5 to be able to go. It's an hour and an hour away. And then came back and continued like normal classes and everything. But it was a nice like break to be able to just focus on the principles and covenants that we make with God um, at the temple. Um, yeah, that was really cool. I love that experience. Um, and to not, to go with people that I don't know super well, the like second or third day was really cool. Um, and we were all on like the same page that, um, we didn't know entirely what we were doing, but we were all sticking with it. It was all in Spanish. That was different. We, um, yeah. Anything else? Uh, all District A and District, no, 9A and 9B, no, 8A and 9A are all out there doing stuff. I don't know. My companion is just over here um, letting me talk. What else? I think that's all. Um, <clears throat> I found a ton of good hymns in Spanish. I didn't think I would be saying that, but there are actually a lot of good hymns in Spanish that we've been singing. Um, I still listen to some in English because to me they just sound better. Um, I found some awesome wallpapers and um, pictures of Jesus um, like holding sheep or like guiding sheep, holding his hand out. It's just cool reminders that Jesus is there for us. Um, I think that's it to this week's my last week and then I leave next Monday. So, um, we will see what's up next Monday. I'll see you guys later.